I made a base horse. Possible false. <laughs> She's like, why does he volunteer me? Okay. Huh? okay, I'm wrapped, and if I start falling, my legs are still wrapped. Uh, uh, we have to act. Oh, God. <laughs> so, unwrap those legs if you're falling, right? That's one thing. Another thing is, because you're wrapped, nice, Matt, what do you get? Because I'm wrapped this way, it's hard for me to fall back. It's like it's my, I use my legs. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it's got my legs and my core to protect me from falling back. <laughs> it is the falling yeah. forward that happens fast, okay? So if I'm here and I'm trying to balance and I fall forward, it's really fast. So you want to, as the, as the base, you want to keep your hands up. Get that support so the flyer won't fall forward and hit something. And make sure there's a ton of stuff behind you this way, okay? You shouldn't have to get to the point where you have to roll like that. The base should be able to keep your weight back this way. But if it does come over, I did tuck my head and roll out. And you want to use the momentum, don't fight the momentum, roll with it, right? Now let's break down the little points to do this correctly. And then we'll do the belly base entrance so you feel a lot more safe from the lower height. Okay. Placement. We're gonna hop in the throne. I think we did it last week. Let's try it again. Feet placement, all right? Where I can touch Magda's feet. She's gonna open the wide a little bit. My feet, common mistake is bases will put their feet in front of the thigh. So you wanna go underneath. Because when you're in throne, the flyer sits on your feet. They don't sit on top of your feet like birds underneath. Keep that in mind. I just like to poke my toes underneath and bring my toes back this way a bit. Here. And um, another common thing is as you kick up, if the flyer doesn't open the legs wide enough, um, your feet will just slide right up into the crotch. So that's uncomfortable. So flyers, when you jump up, open your legs and really sit down, okay? So, and two, another common thing is flyers will jump straight up. You need to actually jump up and forward a bit to where you're Jumping across my waist here. So flyers jump up and then forward. Basis, the thing that you can do to help them jump is keep your legs as low as possible so they don't have to jump such a high height. Receive the weight a little low and then kick on up, okay? My arms are straight the whole time to give her support. Very important too. Once she jumps, I lower my legs until she's over me and then I keep pushing my arms and slowly extend. She's gonna wrap her legs right away for safety and once she's up, I can keep pressing up until she's in throne there. And notice she, it's harder for her to fall back because these hooks are in place. But she can fall forward really fast. That's why my hands are up this way the whole time. Keep your hands up, bases, and very strong. So she, if she needs to fall, she can grab my hands in case she needs to fall. Okay. Another important thing for flyers to do is if they are falling, do not keep the legs wrapped. And bases, if they're falling, don't keep your legs straight like timber. Bend your knees a bit so their feet can land on the ground first. Okay, now we're going to do a demonstration of what a belly base would look like. With the belly base, I'm going to lay down my belly. Now this height is less, instead of being four feet high, or four and a half feet high, it's about a foot and a half, so it's much safer. She's going to mount me, um, but it's going to be in reverse because... Usually you would face me for throne, but she needs to face away because the feet need to match what the feet would look like in throne, which is where the feet are towards the front of her thighs there. So she simply just sits down. I find a placement for the feet right between the butt and the back of the knees. She wraps. And my job yes, is just to... Yes, you want to wrap in front. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you're wrapping in front of the shin. And from this distance, it's, a, it's very different than regular L basing. So it's a new way to get, a, uh, get kind of calibrated where 90 degrees is with your shins. Um, but it's low enough to where you can practice and like fall out of it and it's, it's a lot safer and it feels a lot safer that way. Okay? So she just, she just sits down. She wraps in front. And I'm just trying to find that 90 balance. Down. Yeah, well, you can't see. You're looking away, so it's hard to see. When you did that earlier, I think you said there was less danger of her falling backwards. 
Yeah, so this one is less danger for her to fall back because she has those hooks in. Once those hooks are in, it's hard for her to fall backwards because the hooks are preventing her from falling backwards. And also, if she's using her core, prevent her from falling backwards. But those same hooks do not prevent her from falling forward. But doesn't that assume that the base can keep the, the belly base 90 degrees and not come in this way? Uh, yes. So when I did it, I had a lot less control than you did. Yeah. So, yeah, she can certainly fall back. Back towards me, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, again, it's, I love this. This is where you can track it. I feel okay. So, the 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 main idea of the belly base is to get. It's it's not so much. A little bit. It's physically training you the feeling what it's like to fall. Um, so when you're in the act of falling, a lot of flies will freak out. They're like, "Oh, this is a new feeling. I don't know how to react to it." But if you do it on the ground enough to where it's safe. You're training not only your body to react to a fall, but you're training your mind not to freak out. It's like, oh, I'm really, I'm used to this feeling of falling. It's, I'm familiar with it. It's, it's not like, oh, who's this? It's like that fear becomes your friend. You're like, I know you. I felt you before. You're scary, but I'm, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna dance with you. I get that feeling, and you can go with it instead of like fight it. Um, 